Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I've been working on this face. If you've been checking in on the live streams on which your crush and I had been doing pull-up doll face-ups. And so I didn't have any long form videos out for the last two weeks. Um, I noticed it had already been two weeks since I landed my anime doll collection Karomi pull-up Karomi unboxing video. So I thought about because I wanted to show you guys stuff weekly, upload long form videos weekly. I have been preparing the script and the format for a long form kind of mini documentary that I want to put out. But in the meantime, I thought about what I could show you guys this week. And I did recently uh, reorganize my other doll room slash pull room here behind me. So let me give you a mini tour of this room and what's going on in here. Um, as of late, it's been pretty different since last year. I did make a lot of changes to this room. It was a little bit cluttered before and now I feel like I wanna come in here all the time. I don't feel overwhelmed by like the clutter and the messiness. I also did restyle one, two, three, four dolls. I changed their eye chips and the two dolls that I uh, customized uh, from Make It Own kits this past two weeks. I got their wigs on, I, I assembled them, they're all together. So I'll show you guys those two dolls as well that I am actually gonna keep in my collection because I'm not a super big fan of the Mr. Super Clear and so I don't think I could be a doll customizer seller. Like I don't think I would do uh, pull-up face-ups really uh, too much as a business. I do offer in my Etsy shop um, like a commission uh, listing. If you do want to have a commission of a pull-up doll by me, I'm, I'm happy to do it if you mail me ahead. Um, but when I make my own dolls, I find I'm really attached to them. And I found myself really attached to these two girls and I did have some clothes that were waiting to go on some girls. So I decided I would keep them in my collection. At first I thought maybe I would uh, list them and sell them, but I decided to keep them. So you will meet these two girls as well. I haven't given them names. So if you have any suggestions for names, that would be great. Drop a line in the comments below. Let's start with these two girls and then I'll show you the rest of the room. So this is the vibe of the room like I usually turn on this hanging light and then this neon light and then this little like string curtain of lights over here by the doll bed but it's pretty dark and I don't think you'll be able to see the details of things so we're gonna go ahead and turn on the light and it's February now so I've got to change this calendar but we'll pop on over to the tripod and then I will show you these two dolls that I finished this past week. So I don't have a name for this girl yet, but she is a kind of like anime themed girl from a pale kit. Just pull her out of her little stand here. So here is her face up. And I'm really happy because I bought this wig and I love this wig, but I kept putting this wig on different girls and it just wasn't suiting anyone properly I want to show you her bangs these are her precious little her bangs her eyebrows I gotta move her bangs to show you her eyebrows so these are her precious little blue eyebrows she's got the anime um, doll the anime eye chips that actually came with my Kitasin dolls like a bunch of eye chips came with these two dolls that I got from Kitasin dolls house here is her face up. She's got just a little bit of freckles or kind of light. She's got like the little cheek blush lines and then her eyelids are pink with a really thin, oh my goodness. Oh no, I just realized something. Her, I'm gonna have to open her up because her eyelid is like a little crooked there and that means that it's not sitting in the cavity um, correctly probably the right side little notch so yeah she's gonna have to get opened up maybe this one's in the right place oh that one also is not it could also be that her eye mechanism is 
a little bit loose on the inside of the head and so the outside notches of the eyelids didn't get pushed in all the way down uh, properly. Whoops. But yeah, she's got pink eyelids. Gonna have to open her up. Whoopsies. This is a little uh, Lika Chan apron that came with these mittens and they came with like little slippers, but she's actually wearing these, I don't know, heels I found on Facebook Marketplace. And then underneath she has like a little summer outfit on. So she's got these little shorts on. And then she's got like this cute kind of little lace top. It's actually really cute. It has like this little lace detail. It's kind of like a little lace crop sort of bra top, I guess, or tank top, halter tank top. It ties up at the back. So she is a summer girl ready for summer, but she is also baking some cookies. <laughs> And I don't have a name for her yet, but I'm really happy that this wig really suits her. I love this style of wig. This I got at pullupstyle.com and it came in, I think a few different colors, but I do love like these little swirls. And so I just brush it out every now and again. And then I like reshape them individually one by one. So we'll pop her back in her little stand. These stands I just get for $5 on AliExpress, they always get kind of stained at the base. However, from like the bottoms of like little black shoes. So I was thinking one day I would like maybe paint it glitter and then like seal it with some resin or like some high gloss of varnish and like make it kind of girly and cutesy. But I'll show you the next girl now. She's over here. Whoop by this bed my tripod doesn't go any lower so we are now handheld and this is her i actually took her wig from tifona tifona kiomi although tifona pretty much has like kind of a similar style wig just a different color i made her eyebrows uh kind of frowny her eyebrows are actually inspired by the etoile twins kind of can't really see their eyebrows here unless I move their hair back but <laughs> I spent quite a bit of time meticulously arranging their hair in those little hats so I'm not gonna touch them <laughs> sorry about that so this is actually a Blythe dress but the um designer creator of this dress put some little ties on the back of it so it would be fitted for pull it. So she's got um, a little more of like a kind of realistic realism or natural uh, face makeup versus the anime style. And this is actually just one um, coat of soft pastel. So I just sprayed her face once and then I did the makeup and then I sprayed her again. So this isn't multiple layers. And that's what I do like about the mocha kits. Like I find certain colors, like especially the dark brown and like the red just really pop and show up. Here are her eye chips, uh, or sorry, her eyelids. And I actually had a hard time closing the right side. So I had to like open her up and I had to like scrape off some of the glitter on like where it was meeting the inside of the face plate because it was like really sticky um or thick rather so i used high gloss varnish and like glitter confetti and like glitter paint but just beware when the eyelid gets like really thick um it's hard to close so you kind of got to be careful with what you know how thick you're applying whatever you're applying to the eyelid and then i also put like a little bit of high gloss varnish um, I don't know if you can see it in like the inner corner of her eye. I always wanted a doll with just like white eyes. And so it's just uh, kind of like pearl metallic paint in her eye chips that comes with the kit. And then I tried to do like some contouring on her nose. I don't know if you can tell. There's like a little bit of brown like around her nose and on the top of her nose. And I think it turned out okay. So I think this might be like the best face up I've done so far in terms of like bottom eyelashes. And um, yeah, she's really cute. I don't know what to name her, but 
I don't actually have like a ton of mocha dolls. I, I don't think a lot of people do unless they have a lot of customs. So I'm really happy to have this like blonde mocha, like kind of fairy child or this just sweet little girl. Like I see a dress like this and she just reminds me of like a sweet little girl. But yeah, I don't know what to name her. Give me some suggestions. I, I would love for her to have like an official name. I love Japanese names. Korean names are really cute too, but I'm open to anything. Um, since we're over here, I'll just show you this little bed setup that I have. I got this rug from AliExpress. I was kind of vlogging about how I was transforming this room and I like, this curtain used to be gray and these curtain lights were like kind of awkwardly set up up here and there was like another set of curtain lights that were like awkwardly set up over here and uh yeah I'm really liking how the room turned out this is a bed from Toys R Us I think it's like a generic Toys R Us brand but it's meant to be for our generation I painted it purple and I found it on Facebook marketplace it's supposed to have a ladder but it didn't have the ladder but it came with the tv and like this little laptop which I hand painted pink and then we've just got like a little crystal in the corner and some props these little mini mangas that I found on uh Etsy calico critter a fairy aura fairy spirit quartz and a wish may mel but I like to call her wish mel mel and a little kogi moon plushie that I got from Japan last year and then this actually is from like a Barbie playset, but I just covered it in fabric and it's just pinned at the back. So it would like match this little bed setup. And then I made this bedding just from like some fabric and some like stuffing that I had sitting around. This little plushie came from like a Lika Chan or a hashtag Lika um, fashion pack. And then this is my Dolphy Dream I think she's a sister or a pretty, um, Momo. She's just in this like little bikini and she's so cute. She's like, uh oh, careful. Doing this little pose and like I arranged her, um, her like eye chips or her little like eyeballs. They're like actual eyeballs, but like half eyeballs to be like a little more cross-eyed and like kind of upwards. So that is that little corner over there panned out. I do really like this corner. I think it's like kind of clean and simple and romantic. Um, I'm putting over here this really sweet um, custom work of art that I had made. I'll pop a picture and screen and show it to you guys. But um, it's basically a pole pose that I did. And Marine Kitagawa in that pose. So like me cosplaying as her because she has my tattoos um, in the art as well. So we're back on the tripod. Um, here's some manga over here. We have Candy Color Paradox on the bottom right, Gao Gohan, Happy Marriage, A Sign of Affection. I just completed Something's Wrong With Us, so I'm so excited to finally finish it. I think I read up to volume 11. If I could read you, I haven't read yet. Absolute Boyfriend, I read volume one. Sailor Moon short stories, which are so good. If you've already watched all the Sailor Moons, read all the Sailor Moons, you have to read Sailor Moon short stories. Um, Yakuza Lover, which I, is like kind of cringe, but I'm obsessed with it. Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter. I have saved volume three. It's still in its shrink wrap. So I'm going to read it when it's done. Um, if you love Kiss Him, Not Me... Starcross is a short story, unfortunately. I feel like they could have made this story way longer, but there is some like continuation of Kiss Him Not Me in Starcrossed. Um, and I love Junko. I know she also did that one anime. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Somebody comment this anime where there's like a manga artist, he's a guy, and this girl likes him at his school and he's just really dense and she ends up helping him with his manga and she likes him but he has no idea it's a really funny anime oh what is it called but it's by the same artist uh junko um hisrojime my hero i have volumes one and two on my nightstand and then um 
heterogeneous, I don't know if I'm saying that right, boyfriend I have in its shrink wrap. So I'm really trying to like stop doing this and buying, like I've been really good and not buying manga that I really, like just buying manga and then reading it immediately, not just buying it to like have it sit on the shelf. Um, out of all of these manga, I'm probably, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to keep continuing a sign of affection. I really like it. I think it's really relevant. I'm definitely going to finish Yakuza Lover, um, but out of everything here that's unfinished, like Candy Colored Paradox, um, I'm probably not going to continue buying and reading. Absolute Boyfriend, I heard it's like pretty problematic, but I'm really entertained by it. Um, but it is an older manga and I think it's out of print, so I have to like kind of hunt down the rest of the volumes. And then Accomplishments of the Duke's Daughter, I'll probably end up giving my niece when she's a little bit older. I don't know if it's like really my style of story, but I really like it. It's very inspiring. Chainsaw Man, I'm definitely going to read um, and keep reading because I know it's like still being written, I believe. When I was in Japan last year, I saw like, I think they were past like volume 20 already. And I heard the anime only goes to volume five. My Dress Up Darling, I actually haven't seen the anime yet. I've only read um, the first volume and I'm saving it because I know it's a story I'm going to really like because I really like this character and I'm just kind of savoring her. Um, when I finish the series, then I'll watch the anime and like compare the two. It's a little Kuropi Daruma from the like Daruma blind box um, series collaboration. And then this is, let me turn on this light so you can see her better. This is Candy. Her face up is by uh, Jane from Jane's Doll Land, and it, that's where I got her as well. She is a 1-6 scale um, Zaga brand ball jointed doll. I find her head kind of loose. Maybe she needs to be restrung a little bit tighter. This shirt I got from the Azone label shop store in Japan. So it is Azone brand. And then she is just wearing like some little socks I had kicking around. And then these little shoes, I believe, came with an outfit from like Daiso. Then we have um, this omnibus. It is Madoka Magica, The Different Story. So I guess it's an alternate story from the anime. I'm not too sure. It's actually still in shrink wrap. Takane and Hana, I have finished and I'm gonna reread. And I actually just got um, the volume 18 special edition. So it's still in its shrink wrap. And I'm really excited because there's like this bonus sequel story at the very back it's like this little tiny mini manga and um yeah she's carrying Takane and but he's carrying her on um, the other 18 volume so it's cute it says limited edition on the side so I'm like saving this for a rainy day I guess this is a aura flower agate um little like dish but I have it on a display and then this is aqua aura quartz it's like a custom made uh, crystal that I uh, had made for myself when I used to run a crystal store online. And then we've also got over here, um, this is Caribbean calcite. It's really rare to find it in this color. Um, so this is one of the few crystals I kept from my previous crystal collection. This is from the Surrey Moon Baby um, Galaxy Blind Boxes by Rolif. And then this is a pink opalite magical girl wand, which... I just turned on this light because it's really pretty, but it wasn't focusing on it. But it's so cool. It's like one of the crystals that I kept as well. I just have it here on display. I have another one that's kind of like it in my room downstairs. Sweat and Soap, I think I'll keep buying. I'm not sure. It's super funny. Um, Even Eve is like a Yuri anthology of a bunch of short stories. It's kind of savage. <laughs> I, I liked it though. It's different. Um, my androgynous boyfriend's really light and fun. And the Water Dragon's Bride I got from my friend Dylan. Shout out to Dylan. Um, it's very emotional. My son loved this story as well. Then I have just like the cases of Cupid Parasite and Doki Doki Literature Club and this vintage 80s Polly Pocket, which is super dope. I'll show you guys. 
I've played with it uh, quite a few times now, but it has like these wicked pastel colors and it's got like such 80s looking furniture. And yeah, it's it's actually in really good condition. I think the mom or one of the kids though is like missing an arm or something. <laughs> Then I have Citrus, Citrus Plus. Um, I know people are going to have their claws out for this series, but I super duper love Yuzu so much. And I think she's so cute and I love her style. So that is that. Um, there's going to always be kind of like some taboo and immoral things in Japanese anime. So yeah. <laughs> Don't judge me um, or judge me. I honestly don't care. Black or white, which I don't know if I'm going to keep buying and reading because I feel like I don't know what came out first, but it really reminds me of um, Da Kai Chi and being harassed by the sexiest man in in the world um, anime. I feel like it's kind of like a ripoff story, um, but the art style is really pretty. They kind of look like um, like elves to me. And um, yeah, they're, they're very, very good looking characters. I thought about selling this, but I really do love the box. Um, I don't know if I'll ever reread Oron High School Host Club. I got it because I felt like the anime just wasn't enough and I wanted more and there is more in it. And it does very much complete the story to read the whole anime. But I found from like volumes... Mm, like 14 to 18 there was like a lot of repetition and I found myself a little bit bored in some of the volumes but I really did like how it wrapped up and ended and there was more character development on all of the boys so that was nice. The box set also comes with this cute memo pad and it itself is just really pretty. Okay we've got Kiss Him Not Me. We've got this really rare uh, piece of Ocean Jasper, which is like dominantly pastel purple. This is from the, uh, I can't remember, Punk Puppy Blind Box set, which is like the right scale for a 1-3 scale doll. So that's why I like bought these dogs because they kind of like go with the little 1-3 scale dolls like really well. Um, Vampire Knight, I have, I think 12, 13, 14 on my nightstand and again, Kind of taboo themes, but I liked Game of Thrones as well. And I liked um, Jamie and Cersei. I was kind of rooting for them. I know people are going to say I'm disgusting, but I think in terms of characters, if you put that aside, um, they're great characters, as is Yuki and Kaname. And I just love the action in it and the, the drawing style. And I love that it's still um, getting written in the memories, kind of like sequel. And so I was savoring it. I had like this whole series for like over two years, but now I'm finally just letting myself read it. And yeah, Kiss Him Not Me, um, the print quality on this wasn't very good. My kid read this so fast. Um, it's hilarious. It's honestly one of the funniest mangas I've ever read. And um, yeah, I, I find it kind of fresh and refreshing and being a Fujoshi myself, it's quite relatable. I do have the complete um, Eternal Edition Sailor Moon um, kind of, I wouldn't call these mega because they're like huge. They're like basically graphic novels or like comic book size. And I ended up like going all around the city, driving all around the city to all sorts of comic book stores just to complete this set. Um, Skippy is my favorite manga of all time, which is, I am, from what I understand, still being written as well. Um, love and focus i saved the last chapter it's very cute it's very innocent um golden japanese beautiful art style the story's kind of sad and i like how it's set in like older japan like kind of like maybe around meiji era i'm not sure exactly but um i do love that aesthetic like I, we just watched um the oku the uku i don't know if you've seen that anime it's so good um here are some like kind of adult <laughs> Adult anime. I'm gonna just pop you in a little bit closer so you can see the title names. I actually still have these ones in their shrink wrap still. Um, Misfit of Demon Kid Academy, kind of sad because I felt like the anime kind of dropped off, but the first three episodes were like 
groundbreaking incredible. And then I have L Heart DK, which I just love the art style, but I feel like it's pretty predictable and I don't know if I'll buy the rest. Basara is really incredible. I read a couple of chapters. Also, shout out to Dylan. Uh, Rosen Maiden. I don't know. I couldn't really get into it. I do like it, um, but I'm thinking of letting go of my Shinku doll because I don't feel bonded with her. Given, I didn't like, and I heard it just gets worse. <laughs> but I'm like, what kind of worse? <laughs> like, taboo worse? No, maybe I'm interested. <laughs> but I found the first volume, like, the art style, I just could not differentiate anybody. I was really struggling with that. Uh, Secret, Triple X, really cute. TBHK, my son loves. I'm not too into, um, but I accidentally bought volume two, thinking it was the volume I needed. But I need volume one, because it's like zero, one, and two. And then, um, yeah, I have all the skip beat, like these were omnibuses, but it was like really expensive to get the omnibus of 28 to 30. So I just bought them individually. Okay, so I'm going to extend the height of my tripod so we can get to the upper shelves. So basically I realized that I wanted to have the dolls at eye level and that I just didn't want to have really any dolls on these bottom two shelves although I have two dolls um but I wanted a majority of my dolls to be at eye level so I could just come say hi to them say hi to all of them really easily so I'm gonna have to make sure I don't forget to greet these two girls and like get face to face with them and greet them because that's only fair um okay let's start here on the far right so this is as high as the tripod goes so I have to like angle things up so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna name everyone and then I'll do like a little like handheld face scan and outfit scan. This is Roz Liotta or Roz Liotta. And then this is Acid Akemi. This is Marori um, Blue Tear version. And then this is Doki Doki, 2% uh, Doki Doki. Pull up Uranus. We have Black Lady or Evil Lady in Madoka Kaname stock from Madoka uh, Dal Dal, Sailor Mars, and Sailor Pluto. Then we have, what's this guy's name again? Score Bunny. He's like from the new generation of Pokemon, which I haven't been following like the series and I don't play the Nintendo games, but I just love him. I think he's so cute. I love his floppy ears. This is my special edition um, Pikachu. I finally found a Pikachu that I liked. I just, I wanted a Pikachu, but it had to be a certain Pikachu. Um, this is Nocturne Sela. This is Taiyang MJ, but he's like completely restyled. So everybody here is stock, except for obviously Black Lady. She's in different outfit and Taiyang is restyled wig. He still has the same um, top and um, choker and belts and boots, but his pants had fallen apart. So luckily I found someone who had pants for Taiyang. And his actual stock outfit, he looks like Ren from Nana. This is Bouquetin, Bouquetin, Bouquetin. And then this is Nier Chen. And this was the special mystery dog who is so dope from the blind box series and um it was funny because i told my son that i was going to give him one of the blind boxes and lo and behold the one that he got was this one but he is so sweet he wanted this dog to live with her so he like donated this dog to her <laughs> okay more names we have dal cherry sweet restyled in prunella stock we have Known, restyled with a different wig and um, different outfit, some of Chelsea's stock. Pull up Keres or Ceres, K-E-R-S, different eye chips and different outfit, same boots, same wig. Then we have the Kiyomi twins who are completely restyled with eye chips, outfits, wigs. I recently restyled them. I'm really excited to show you guys them because I think they're so cute. Originally, I was like gonna sell them in their like original wigs and eye chips, which is like some whatever outfits, but nobody was baiting them. And I thought they were like really affordable and I was surprised. So I was like, I'm gonna keep these girls and restyle them and give them new life. 
um, called it Yua, my complete Chobits, 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 <laughs> my complete Chobits. <laughs> I actually found out a lot about life in this anime, but the manga actually has like a little bit more vulgar vulgarity and like swearing, and like a little bit more adult jokes in it, I found. Um, Margareth, I would say she's like my number one or two uh, favorite Pellet doll. I just love her face up with her outfit so much. And um, then we have Sakura Miku, and then we have, I wanted to call her Bonnie, but she's Bonnie. And she is, oh my goodness, I'm drawing a blank. What is her name again? Um, these are the Kiyomi twins' stock, but they're actually in the Etoile Andomiel and Etoile um, Rosette um, stock dolls. So their stock outfits are actually, one's downstairs and one's in storage, but I specifically bought the Kiyomi twins just so I could put their outfits on the Etoile girl. So that was like a goal of mine that I had. This is Kirsch. She's an older doll and she's restyled. This is a Kitisin doll's house. So like an oak doll by Kitisin doll's house that is restyled. I changed her wig, her eye chips and her outfit. This is Ro, <laughs> Ro June? No, no, no. This is, oh my gosh. Chocolat Melier, and I did watch a little bit of this anime, um, Sugar Sugar Rune. It's pretty cute. It's like about these little witches, and she's wearing some Rainbow High stock. Then we have two one-of-a-kind girls from Amotra Crush. She's all in her original um, stock that Amotra Crush set up for her, and then she is wearing a Kigurumi made by B Story hat, and I changed her eye chips. This is Pull Up Taffy in a different outfit, same um, designer as this Kigurumi dress. And then this is Pull Up Cosmodi. Finally, we have Erica Nanette in Pull Up Jean's stock. And then we have Pull Up Shinku, who is the more modern release. Then we have my Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon Eternal Edition manga. There is a Hello Kitty Crystal here as well. It's Pink Aura Quartz. Midnight Secretary, I haven't read yet. Revolutionary Girl Utena, The Adolescence of Utena. The other Utena, um, like Utena 1 to 5, I'm actually going to let go of in my collection because this Adolescence of Utena is basically just like a summary of the 1 to 5 manga and the actual storyline for me is like a little all over the place but I do like the characters I really liked how the characters were depicted here and I feel like I just need to watch the anime or read this if I feel like getting my Utena fix and then I have After the Revolution on my nightstand which I still have to read Living Room Matsunaga-san 1 and 2 I don't think I'll be keeping I'm actually looking to sell these two volumes. I think it's cute, but I think it's a little predictable. Um, and then Wotakoi, Love is Hard for Otaku. I definitely want to finish this one. The anime is so funny, and the manga is just as funny as the anime, but there's like a little bit more in the manga as always. Oh, that's a lot of talking. I really needed a sip of my coffee, so I went and I got that. Now I'll do a little close-up scan of everybody. I did leave like a little blank space over there, I think for Sailor Moon Eternal, although, oh, oh my goodness, I almost forgot these girls. Let's not forget these girls. This shelf is kind of like my whatever shelf. I got um, volume one of Nana uh, just so that I could have it. I did borrow the entire series from my friend though, and I do love it. But would I reread it again? I don't know. I could just watch the anime again. The anime does follow it pretty closely uh, to a T. The anime and the manga overall, I found like really depressing, but I do love the characters. This is just a bunch of like bookmark stuff that I could use for bookmarks. And then Paradise Kiss, which I haven't read yet, but I'm, I'm thinking I'll bring this to my Japan trip. Um, I'm really, really happy about these girls that I restyled. This is Pulip um, Hello Kitty 45th anniversary wearing Kiyomi's wig. And then I changed her eye chips. 
So these two dolls, the two Hello Kitty dolls, they actually have the same face up. And I'm thinking of changing her eye chips to like actually Kiyomi's old eye chips because they were also gold, but they were more of like a champagne gold versus like this bright like yellow gold, which I don't know if I'm a big fan of. This is Pull-Up Hello Kitty Lollipop. And then this is Pull-Up Merle, who is in all her original stock. And then this sweet girl who kind of just, she's my, my little Russian princess here. Um, I feel like she could do that trend <laughs> with this Russian hat and this outfit. But this is Alice in a Steampunk World. And I actually dyed this wig, but it, it kind of damaged the fibers of the wig a little bit. But it did work. And I was able to get kind of this, you know, pastel pink slash blonde hair. She's wearing a couple different um, stock pieces. This is Minerva's top and skirt. The jacket is Tifona and the hat is Pull-Up Rouge. And then these eye chips I just got from Hime Hime Dolls. Like I printed them out and then I just made like clear resin eye chips. And then I changed her eyelashes. She's got new eyelashes as well. But then with these eye chips, I added like a little bit of iridescent confetti. Okay, my arm's gonna get sore here, but here are the girls close up. And so I'm actually like a little bit on the fence about Shinku and Erica and Annette. I'm thinking of selling Erica and Annette as well um, in Jean's stock, but I need to, I need to think it through. I really like this top, but it's kind of the only thing that I like from the stock is like the top. <laughs> I love her eye chips. Like I'm thinking of popping her eye chips in someone else, but I feel like she, her makeup is like, she's kind of goth to me. Like maybe she would be cute in a goth outfit. Her makeup is very, very pale. Shinku, I don't know what it is. I don't know why I'm not bonding with her. I just don't understand. Oh, I remembered her name, Evangeline. So this is pull up Evangeline. And I have reviewed all of these dolls on my YouTube channel. So if you go into my pull-up doll um, reviews playlist, you'll find them there. And obviously <laughs> a majority of my content is around my pull-up doll collection. So you'll just like see more footage of these dolls there in general. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was like a little loop in her hair, but it's just the screws. She's looking so cute. She's wearing a Barbie sweater, a Lika Chan top, a bag that I found in this like lot of clothes with a doll for like smart doll and pull it. Erica and Annette stock underskirt. I don't know. I feel like her outfit is very like, it's like very trend, would be very trendy in Korea in Seoul. Here is Kirsch, and she's just wearing like a stock outfit from like the pull-up website. And this is like a little handmade headband. And then these girls, they are so cute. She's a little tomboy. And this wig I also dyed as well. So it was like a golden blonde, which is now more of like a strawberry blonde. This hat was actually like official pull-up selection or what was it called? They were like these pull-up outfits they used to sell fashion packs and i believe this these overalls are also from a pull-up fashion pack but they don't really sell them or make them anymore and this is dal cherry sweets um stock without like the long sleeve undershirt and then this is pull-up uh, rouge's wig but i cut it actually i tried to dye it pink as well and i thought it would turn fuchsia but that wasn't the case here are their new eye chips, also printed from the Himi Himi Dolls um, printout. And she is wearing Pull Up Taffy's great little cowgirl boots. I feel like they need to, somebody needs to make these for Pull Up. This is my little goth girl. I made her eye chips as well, or I guess she's like a little vampire. She's wearing rainbow high uh, top and choker, same boots and same leggings from her stock. This is Pull Up Chelsea stock, but this is Known's Choker. And she's actually wearing 45th Anniversary's wig. I love her, she's got like pierced ears as well. And some dowel boots I had kicking around. And then this is Prunella's stock. 
um, without the hat. Here are the Sailor Scouts that I have. I used to have Mercury and Venus, but I don't know, I wasn't bonding with them. These are kind of like my funky girls over here. I have to rework Marori's curls. That is on my list as well. And I just love her face up so much. It's so unique. It's so different. I also think that she would look really amazing in like a yukata or like a kimono or some sort of traditional wear. I do want to see her in um, Isul Okita's stock, which I have. And then this is Sela Nocturne, whose face up I'm obsessed with, but I do love her in her stock. So I'm like apprehensive to restyle her. Um, MJ Taiyang, so the little Chobits poster. Oh yeah, my posters, a Sailor Moon poster. I had like a bunch of posters like all over my closet doors and like all up and down here were Sailor Moon posters, but I just kept this one. And then I have like this like 90s collectible, like large card. And then finally we have Bouquetin who I've seen somebody restyle with darker eye chips and I really wanna do that myself. And then Nir Chen, who I would love to have another doll of her because I really love this like sick girl makeup that she has, which is like similar to the sick girl makeup that known has. And I just love like these punky kind of street style girls. She's got amazing stock too. So I think another one of her is definitely on my wish list. Yua, who was one of my first like stock dolls. Who I just love her hairstyle, so I don't think I'll ever restyle her because I'm really scared. But she has like this wonderful traditional wear and her face up is also just so incredible. I would love another one of her because like, look at these lips. And then Margaret, she's my little sweetheart. She just kind of looks so cuddly and I don't know, there's something about her that just Reminds me of Christmas morning and I just adore her. She also has very interesting lips as well. Talked about her lips quite a bit. And then there is a little Teru Teru Bozu, which I had learned is like a, a ghost for like bringing in rain. Like they would make them out of fabric and like hang them outside in Japan. It's like a little aura rose quartz and then my complete Chobits collection. And that is my arm workout for the day. So there you have it. This is the new, the new room. And I do love um, more of like, just kind of this cleaner vibe in here. It is just uh, a lot more simplified. There used to be a lot going on in this room. And I had like the string lights, like awkwardly, like kind of mounted to here with double-sided tape and I don't know, the double-sided tape got like kind of um, like dusty over time. And then I, I wanted this wall to be like a cool backdrop for TikToks. And I had like all these posters on it because I wanted to have like a teenager moment in my age of 30. But then I realized I just preferred everything to be just like a little bit cleaner and like a little more simplified. So I'm gonna keep things like this as it is. In this corner over here, come stand over here, you can see. Um, I might put like a little cute, maybe kind of somewhat of a chair or something here, but maybe not. I kind of like everything as it is. So thank you so much for hanging on in there to my cracking voice and stay tuned. I am working on my next video, which is gonna be kind of a heavy subject but um i think i think intriguing and, and, and controversial so if you have any of these dolls or any of these manga volumes i would love to know um who you have and who's your favorite and why and if you've read any of these series and if you liked them and why and i hope i didn't offend anybody with some of what is in my manga collection i know that some people have been triggered to see that there are people um reading certain topics and subjects that, um, you know, had, had maybe been traumatic for them or triggering in the past, but that's really not my intention is to like trigger or offend anyone and it's fiction. <laughs> so 
Um, you know, I think it's harmless for me to read and enjoy uh, these series. And I know that there are literally thousands of other people who do as well. But I did want to say that I don't mean to offend anyone. And if there is anyone under the age of, you know, 16 watching this, um, a majority of the manga in my collection is, is 18 and up. I would say 16 and up or your parents would read it first and then kind of decide uh, if they if they would let you read it and if they could explain some of the more mature uh, themes to you so that you could understand. So would love to hear from you in the comments and look forward to my next video. Enjoy playing with your dolls or reading manga or whatever otaku nerdy weeby thing you might be up to this week and see you in the next one.